hey, Roadrunner fans, and welcome back to the Roadrunners Coach's Corner, Episode 4, brought to you by Village Cleaners. Today, we're going to look back at last weekend's games against the Springfield Junior Blues, then we're going to look ahead towards the long road trip, and of course, talk with Coach Cameras and have a special conversation with Max Harper. But first, let's take a look back at the weekend that was here in Runner Nation. The Roadrunners faced some out-of-division competition this weekend as the Springfield Junior Blues of the NAHL North visited Landon Arena. Friday night's game played mostly as expected with the runners taking an early lead on a Max Harper netter assisted by Christian Sanda in the first period. The hometown team extended that lead to two as Brendan Doyle collected the rebound off of Springfield goaltender Devin Cooley for his first score of the season. All that was left was for the runners to hold on in the third, but it was not to be. The wheels fell off at 5.15 of the final frame as Brennan Blazak, on his way to a hat trick, cut the lead in half, starting a three-goal flurry for the Junior Blues that put them on top to stay less than two minutes later. Blazak would complete his hat trick at the 12.02 mark to put the final score at 4-2 Springfield. Saturday night was Diabetes Awareness Night with the runners and Stormont Vale. Runner Faithful got treated to a defensive battle with some great work in net by Cooley and Roadrunner Mike Rockwell. There was no score after three periods and neither team capitalized on the three-on-three -three sudden death overtime period, so we headed to one of the most exciting sequences in hockey, the shootout. Both teams were denied over the first two rounds and Rockwell stymied Springfield's Matt Long in round three. That's when Max Harper skated the puck forward, faked right, and then whipped the puck around and passed the sprawled out Cooley for a heart-pounding Roadrunner victory. The win moved the runners into a tie for fourth place in the South with Wichita Falls and a 6-8-0 record. They are currently trailing first place Lone Star by only five points. The team now heads out on a month and a half long road trip that will see them face the Brahmas four times in the next three weeks. Here to talk about that split with Springfield, as well as looking ahead to the series against Lone Star, is the head coach, Josh Cameras. Coach, welcome back to your corner, man. How are you doing tonight? Thanks for having me. Doing well. Excellent. Doing well. How are you? Um, doing good. Doing Excellent. good. Can't complain. Now, um, it was a tough loss Friday. Uh, obviously, really, the game only swung on like that two-minute sequence where they were able to get three goals off this. Uh, what do you do on the bench in that type of moment uh, to try to kind of rest the momentum back for the guys? What do you tell the players? Well, on the bench Friday night, we were just telling the guys to, to, to put, get back to our game and play the way that uh, you know we know how to play and that we did for 40 minutes. But you know, a lot of coaches have different strategies and different techniques. You know, I, I'm a big fan of letting our guys play through that and trying to figure out early in the season, especially. You know, it's a long, it's a long grind, and you know, 60 minutes is tough to stay consistent and play hard hockey. Um, sure. But you know, that's something that we got to learn, and hopefully, we learn the lesson that you can't let off the gas pedal at all. Now, of course, on Saturday, we got to see uh, Mike Rockwell have about as perfect a day in net as you could possibly hope for. Three period shutout, overtime period shutout, and then not allowing a single goal in the shootout. Um, tell us a little bit about uh, the type of uh, goalie that you've seen him become, and just uh, you know the ceiling that he has yeah. in front of him. M Mike's been really good. Uh, you know, he, he showcased a lot of his skills in the, up in Blaine and did very well up there. Um, garnered some attention from schools, and he, he's a big kid. He takes up a lot of net, and he, he blocks the puck extremely well. And, you know, he, he's coming in here as a first-year goalie in this league and at this level, and he's just soaking up all the information that, that we're giving him. And, and he's working very hard with uh, Coach Clark and, and practice and all that. But he's a guy who every day he brings his work ethic, and, he, and he's continuing to grow his game. And, he, you know, I, I think the sky's the limit for Mike. And he was, he was exceptional on, on Saturday night's game. Uh, he gave us a chance to win. He made some big saves. And really, you saw Saturday night was a battle of the goalies. Both goalies showed up and did very well. No, for sure. Cooley was pretty good in that as well. Yeah, he did extremely um, well as well. And Coach, back in the uh, Corpus series a couple weeks back, we saw a new face on the roster, uh, number 20, Will Schlagenhoff. Uh, what can you tell Runner Nation about uh, the type of game that this uh, kid brings to the team and uh, what we should expect from him looking forward? Well, Will's a, Will's a really talented hockey player. He, he has a lot of poise with the puck. He is what we would consider a playmaking forward. Uh, he allows guys uh, opportunity to get open, and he has a really, really good ability to find those guys. And you know, his passing is, is something that's really special. And you know, we're working really hard uh, with him to continue to grow that. And he's not the biggest guy, so he's got to play a little bit smarter than than everyone else to give himself 
uh, the best opportunity so, so bigger guys can't lean on him as much. So he's got to use his speed and his vision to, to really be effective out there. Coach, one of the themes that I've gotten from the boys so far this season, whether they're talking in a community event or here on the coaches show, is how they've really uh, adapted to each other and grown that bond, uh, that brotherhood yep. uh, that you talk about so often. Uh, how do you develop that as a head coach? Uh, I think it's just uh, holding each other accountable, you know, from the coaching staff on down to the players in the locker room. And, and ultimately, you got to have fun. You know, if you're not having fun, you know, what are we doing here? Yeah, this is hockey. It's a game. This is hockey. It's a game. It's a great opportunity for these guys to learn and grow as people. But, you know, to have that tight knit uh, bond and, and brotherhood, you got to have the accountability with each other. So it starts there and it's a, it's a process that goes all year long. Coach, uh, what can you tell us about the team that we're going to be playing this weekend, uh, the Lone Star Brahmas? Lone Star is the top team in the South Division. They play an aggressive style. You know, there's uh, not too much in their game that they don't do well. So we got to be consistent, and we know that they're going to bring some in intense play and, and be pressuring us all over the ice. So we got to be ready to move the puck and support each other. All right. Well, hey, good luck. I wish you nothing but the best on the road. Thank you, Chris. I appreciate Before it. Before we go, Coach, though, we're going to go to our Coach's Corner Fan Forum. Coach. You Be Smiling asks, what is your favorite sports movie? Oh, there's a lot of good sports movies out there, Mr. Pope. I would say my favorite would have to be Happy Gilmore. That falls into the category of comedy and sports, so you can't go wrong with either of those. Brett Smith asks, which player on the team most reminds you of the way you used to play? Oh, that's a really good question. I, I think today's game, the players are more complete players than what they used to be. Uh, there's a lot more facets in the game, so I don't think there's one player specifically uh, that that I kind of reminds me of myself. But there's a lot of talented players on our team this year, and we're uh, we're pretty happy with the way they're they're playing right now. Now, finally, Coach Frostman23 asks, what song pumps you up most during a game? Oh, that's a really good question. I, I'm a rock rocker at heart, so I'd probably have to say any any Metallica song, or uh, you know. Man, there's that's a good that's a really good question. Let's just say Inner Sandman. All right, coach. Thanks a lot. Thank you. And we'll see you next week. Appreciate it. Now it's time for our special guest this week on the Roadrunners Coaches Corner, brought to you by Village Cleaners. Second year forward, Max Harper. Max, thanks for joining us here on the Coaches Corner. Thanks for having me, Chris. Yeah, how have you been enjoying your uh, second year here in Topeka? It's awesome. I love Topeka. Uh Coming back for the second year, I'm definitely more comfortable around the billets and mm. around the whole city, so I'm loving it. Now, that was a nice move that you put on the goaltender uh, this past Saturday on the on the shootout. Uh, how much thought and practice do you put into an opportunity like that? Uh, well, our, before I went out, our coaches told us to look to shoot. We mm. The ice was in bad condition, so making too many moves would be a problem. So. At first I was looking to shoot and the goalie didn't give me anything, so I just waited him out and made a move and put it in. Oh, an excellent move it was. Uh, now we had Marshall Bowery on the show a couple weeks back, and of course he talked about you guys growing up together in, in Rochester Hills uh, and then playing hockey there. What can you tell uh, us about the type of player that, that you've, you've seen Marshall become or, or be uh, in terms of the time you spent with him? Yeah, we've, it feels like we've been playing together forever. Uh, Marshall's always been a guy with great speed, great hands, and he's really developed into a good leader for us. Now, coming into this season, did you set yourself any personal goals, uh, something that you'd like to achieve uh, by the end, by the time we hit Mac? Yeah, I, I look to get better each day in practice. I, I work hard every day, uh, just always trying to improve my skills, and ultimately our goal is to win a Robertson Cup. Absolutely. Now, um, is there a professional player that you uh, pattern the style of play that you have? Growing up, I always liked Steve Eiserman, captain for the Red Wings. Uh, he plays a strong two-way style game, and I tried to emulate my game after him. Well, you certainly do. Now, you guys are going to be on the road for a number of weeks now. What is the favorite part of a road trip for you? I think I, the bus trips, being with the guys, playing bus games, hmm. watching movies together. That's probably my favorite part. Any particularly fast food joint that you uh, you like sitting there crossing your fingers, please, 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 bus hit Arby's or something like that? I was like, like In-N-Out Burger. I don't have those in Michigan, so when we go to Lone Star, uh, that's the one we hit. And yeah, for sure. I like that one. Uh, now let's uh, take the questions to our fans on the Internet. It's time for the Coach's Corner Fan Forum. Uh, our first fan is Mad Fan 2 and she asks, what school would you most like to play for? Ah, that's a tough one. Well, I, I grew up in Michigan, so 
I was always a Spartan fan, so Michigan State would be a cool one. Oh, for sure. Uh, Holly Ives asks, what food do you like to eat on game day? On game day, uh, I always go to Noodles and Company, get some mac and cheese, and then right before I leave the house, I have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Finally, Caroline asks, if you could be stuck on a desert island with anyone, living or dead, who would it be? I have to go with my dad. We, uh, we get along real well, and we have a good time together. So, my dad. Standing. Yeah, a lot of beach volleyball, I imagine. Yeah. Right. Max, thanks again for joining us here on the Coach's Corner. Good luck there in Lone Star this weekend. Thank you, Chris. Don't forget, Runner fans, you can be a part of the Roadrunners Coach's Corner, brought to you by Village Cleaners, by sending questions in the comments section below or heading over to Facebook and Twitter. Thanks again for joining us. We'll see you next week. Yeah,